I mean, I know you're doing the bro deals today, but what are you what are you doing on the duck? I just picked up so much stuff, including these, including this, and you'll see what and why at the end of the video. Well, here it is, Long Island Retro Gaming Expo for Friday loading in right now. This isn't even a Saturday line. It's already this big, so it's going to be a crazy weekend. What you find? That there we go. Slug. Nicely done. Looking through uh, records back in the back in the day. Wow. Wow, 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 wow world. One and two. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what could be the only Famicom Disk System game here is... I love it. Oh, I'm sure it works. But well, you never know. Road Spirits. Ladies and gentlemen. We have it. Anime on VHS. Mm. Oh my god. Have you seen this show? Look up this show if you haven't seen it. It's hilarious. Love this one. Now this is a new Game Boy Homebrew from our friends at These Guys. And conveniently just handed me the sticker as I was talking. <laughs> Who have also done this book, which you've seen me cover on my channel before. I just I just saw this book at uh, Comic Palooza. Someone, someone at Comic Palooza had this book too. So I was like, I know this book. So they're, they're doing a little distribution for you as well. So I remember this. Smiling face, kind. St oh, lost your hand there. Hello, hello. Hello. Yeah, good. Puppets K rule. Yeah. That's right. Yes, yes, and uh, oh yes, yes. Puppet K rule. I'm the guy who controls Puppet K rule. I appreciate that. Yeah. Now John here was dressed as Doctor. No, don't say yep. it. Oh. No, Doctor, don't say it. Doctor Robot. Bring. Ah! Who's this? Ah! I'm Puppet Robotnik. <laughs> <laughs> you had to say it. You do not see an Egret 29 literally ever. This was found in a warehouse. Oh, he just laughed. He was just telling me this. Like, it was like, it, like found in a warehouse. Got it, saved it, Egret 29, and look how legit this is. This is a this is a spot where you you, you know put your drink right there, put your ashtray right there. You, you see those like you know plastic ashtrays. Somebody forgot their ashtray. Put it out right there. It stays. You could have polished it out, it stays. Piece of history. Always fun to dig through these boxes to find some games. Like Wheel of Fortune, fun. Always look for the NES stuff. Play the steel. Oh, there it is. You know to find a silent service in here. Oh, so yeah, of course. Oh, this arcade game. Always play whenever I see it. Chessmaster, TNC, Six Time. Got the uh, family. Decent games for only five bucks. Hopefully somebody will walk away with a ton of these. Good game for five bucks. Oh, that's what I see. Everyone's favorite anticipation. Call here. Any four for 20. Any four for 20. And again, some great games. What is this? What is this? Mick 29. We're gonna be opening soon, so I'm not doing any shopping yet. I'll be respectful with the people who paid money to get in. Well, this is a pretty packed at a convention here. About two o'clock on a Saturday. We got the uh, woman uh, pyramid head down the way as well. My goodness, this is a this is a nicely done here. And again, in the aviation museum, all the airplanes and stuff hanging around. <laughs> uh, if you're wondering about the music, we got the uh, band playing in the background there. There we go, a little more of a combat for you. I'm having a blast so far, and the Long Island Retro Gaming Expo is a three-day convention. I need to keep my energy up. Fortunately, I've been adding AG1 to my daily routine. And thank you, AG1, for sponsoring today's video. AG1 is a foundational nutrition drink. 75 vitamins and minerals. Now, I know I should be taking better care of my body. Everyone knows that. But this is the quickest, easiest, most convenient, and tastiest way, believe it or not. This does not taste like swamp water. This actually tastes pretty good, I'll be honest with you. Hi, Lion. Ah. Now, in full disclosure, I've only been using AG1 for a couple of weeks now, but even after those two weeks, I feel like I'm able to concentrate and focus more when I'm building the video games I'm working on, or even editing this video. It's hard to describe, but I just feel better overall, and without taking all these random pills and stuff, you know? Even when I travel... These are super handy to bring with me, that way I'm not bringing that giant container, or baggie of it, or something like that. These uh, travel packs, the single use, Perfect. Go to drinkag1.com slash John Riggs right now. You'll get a one year supply. This is the AG D3 plus K2. Drop or two on the tongue. Good to go. Just do that once daily. That's it. Even gonna throw in five of these travel packs with your first purchase. These are very handy, especially when you travel like I do. Again, thanks to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to buying some more games. I've always loved these as they have the magnets in the background. 
Oh, good. I know. This one's gotta, this gotta be my new favorite. <laughs> I know, I still love it. Still love it. <laughs> I found horror on VHS. This this one's a classic. Graveyard chip. Oh yeah. Is, yeah, it's a classic. Jack Frost is kind of like a weird one. I always remember this cover and all the blockbusters. Oh I know, yeah, that's the best part. Like when you walk cover? by it, it has the lenticular. Yeah, dude. So like I always remember that when I was a kid. Yeah. So when it came up, I was like, grabbing it. Totally. I'm trying to walk through here, it's like such a busy road, <laughs> I'm telling ya. See, I just love the random assortment of various things, like the Game Boy, see the Crayon Chin Chan down there, nice little uh, stuff going on here. Just want to kind of just get dig through here. Buy, sell, and trade. Some random Master System stuff here. Where'd you go? All right, how are you doing so far? Good, good. It's, a, it's very busy. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, a, yeah. it's a tight squeeze to get through this stuff. Here, yeah, too. it's crazy. <laughs> tell, tell me about the goodies here. Oh, goodies is a uh, new marketplace eh? doing like a buy, sell, and trade. Uh, buy, sell, and trade? I love yeah. it. I see, see right here. Look at this. Buy, sell, and trade. Buy, sell, and trade. If people are looking for something, they can place in bid for buying, and then people also can sell in. So if, if okay. yeah, even there's nothing available, people can place in it for buying, and then if there's somebody wants so selling it, they can sell it. You're just trading dollars at that point. Right, 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 right. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just come to you anyway. Yeah. Got the Vectrix in the box here. Vectrix in the box with games, of course. And they also got the Odyssey too. See, that's just kind of fun to see that they have this. Got the new old stock uh, Game Boy display box. That's kind of fun. I like how down here in the random, look at the Darkwing Duck hanging out. Little Ninja Brothers. You got Toki down here too. <laughs> Working my way through to over here. I see all kinds of games labels of a little bit off the beaten path Like you know, you don't see isolated warrior very often. Gremlins 2. Good price on that one. Tiny Toons Car Turn Workshop. One of my favorites. We've played so much of this game. Here's something you don't see too often. Miss Pac-Man, but this label version. The other Flintstones games. This one's a little bit more affordable. <laughs> totally rad. I love Space Shuttle Project. Oh, here's one that you don't see too often. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Rollerblade Racer. I covered this in the last time I was here, but there's like some, I mean again, it's a museum as well. So you see like here's like the little space shuttle check section here. It's cool to see some of this so stuff here there. Right but it's cool to see like a really old uh, you know technology here. You see what they have in a place like this. You can play it right here too. It's all interactive. Alright, I guess not all of it interactive. Sometimes it's behind a glass case, but you know what I mean. Fun to see the airline pilot simulator. It's like you got a little plane here and then <laughs> this is kind of like the, the racing section, so like all these are going to be like racers. Throw down town. All these fighting games. One of my favorite things here, for some reason, and of course right when the screen goes blank, is they have like an old school, old school weather channel, but logoed with the Long Island Retro. And this is the actual weather conditions, and the time and date and everything. Isn't that great? Uh, takes takes me back. This used to be our default channel. You have no idea how nostalgic I am for this literal book. I have the other ones too, but it always puts a smile on my face seeing this one. My panel's up next, and wait till you see where my panel is. I know it's on the. Uh, ooh, it's on the IMAX wall here. There's some people here. Well, let's see what we can do. Here's a remake of Castlevania One. On the X68000, the audio is coming from the MIDI. Come on. Sunday deals is what we're looking for today. Sunday deals is what we're looking for today. What'd you find, Dave? Oh, Pac Man Rub Off game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember those from the, uh, probably, I think they came in the old wax packs. This game here, no one talks about this game. You gotta look it up. Soul of the Samurai. What a great deal on that, too. Soul of the Samurai. It's one of my favorites, but no one talks about it. The glass case always has the magic, like the Magic Knight Ray here, the Kios Flying Squadron. Ghost Route. What'd you find? Ghost? Ghost Route. <laughs> New York Chips. The Anchor Bar. Is Anchor Bar a place in Buffalo? Yes, it is. All right. And, and, and world famous Buffalo Wings, huh? Yep. Oh, I mean buffalo wings. It's buffalo. Got my men filming here on a Super 8. Look at that. Look at this. Look at the Super 8. I love it. John, we're getting you, John. Okay, I'm getting you, getting me on the Super 8. He's got piles of games here. See what? You don't even need a table. You just bring the table to you. Love it. In fact, the people who were here yesterday aren't even here anymore. You can just set up shop and <laughs> go to town. Oh, look at this one. Just walking around with a DuckTales 2 and a uh, comforter bag here. <laughs> DuckTales 2. It's a good, it's a good one. Oop. Oh. 
It'll Chrono Trigger. Uh, games that Let's didn't see. come out that you looked at, like that didn't make the cut from Japan. They, they did. They did do that. Actually. Let's just see how spicy these really are. Buffalo chips from Buffalo, huh? Mmm. Oh, they're good. As I'm grabbing my second chip, I can feel the spice kick on now. My first purchase of the day came in the form of Assault Rigs on the PS1. I couldn't not get it. It's literally my name. It was previously a Blockbuster copy, but am I going to play this? Ah, you're adorable. It goes on my shelf. And I took my change back in the name of a copy of Super Dodgeball. And the cleanliness of this copy is very good. So that's what I like to do. Like, I find these games that I have but they all need label upgrades. So I'm always looking for those label upgrades for the games in my personal collection. Lorbit, the microwave orphan. The fact that it's a little bunny holding a burrito or something like that. I'm looking forward to checking this out. Make sure you follow me on Twitch. I'll be streaming this game sometime soon. Because if I'm making homebrews, as you can see linked in the uh, Shopify stuff down below this video, if I'm making them, well, I gotta support the other guys making them too. Can I show you how clean this copy of DuckTales 2 is? Now, should I tell you how much I paid for this copy? Because it would make you cry. But it's not about that. It's a, because I do the same thing. And he was just like, these are my duplicates. These are my triplicates. I don't need more than one copy. I'm happy to let him go. Um, I will tell you this much. Less than it goes for, according to Price Charter, according to eBay, less than that, of course. But he received more than what he paid for this. So it's a win-win. And it'll go nice right next to my copy of Rescue Rangers 2. I've always wanted one of these and I've never had one. I've always liked the colors on this one. People gave this particular DS model a bunch of flack when it first came out. It's like, oh, it's ugly, it's not form-fitting, it doesn't fold. I prefer this. I like this because it fits my hand nicely. And on top of that, um, I never use the 3D function anyway. Not with my weird lack of depth perception, so yeah. I'm down for this. It even came with a charger. All right, let's check out the Switch games. Again, I thumbed through them, didn't even think about it. I just looked at them briefly. I was like, well, how much would you just do for all of them? He shot me a number. I was like, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, why not? And I may already have a game or two of these. So again, the games I don't have, you might see go up on whatnot, but you can never go wrong with extra Switch games, especially when you travel as much as I do. Now, a lot of these are still sealed, not all of them. Raiden 2, uh, I do not have this one, so looking forward to checking it out. I love the Raiden games. No Man's Sky, I have this on PlayStation, but not on the Switch. This is the Mario and Rabbids. Uh, I've never played any of these games here before, believe it or not. So it'll be my first time checking it out. Yoshi's Crafted World, I know I have this one because Leo loves Yoshi. Uh, however, this one's still sealed, so I might just keep this one sealed for the collection. Cruise and Blast Rules. I'm not a racing fan. Cruise and Blast Rules. I have this digitally, but nice to have it physically. Same with Clubhouse Games. Another game I have digitally, but um, I don't have it physically, so there you go. And of course, it's the Luigi's Mansion 3. <laughs> I could ever go wrong. All right, let's see if this load of Super Nintendo games is worth it. Again, I just kind of looked at them briefly, and whatever games were left, after uh, Steve and Pat kind of went through the games to get what they wanted, I was just like, well, whatever's left, I'll just make me an offer. And whatever you say, I'll probably say yes. And he made me an offer and I said yes. Again, he did the negotiation, not me. He lowballed me and I accepted. That's a first in retro gaming. He was the one who lowballed me with his lowball offer. And he knew, he, again, this, this, this guy knows what he has. He doesn't need extra copies of him. He's just trying to thin out his own collection. And I'm happy to pick it up, I promise. Again, looking at it, I, I, there's already good stuff in here. Super Mario World. Joe and Mac, believe it or not, I don't have this game, and this is the first Super Nintendo game I ever rented, so nostalgic for me. F-Zero, love, love, love F-Zero. Gotta love Mario Kart. Super Star Wars, you can keep your bullet hell. UN Squadron is the best shooter on the uh, Super Nintendo. It's probably like in my top three best like shooters like that of all time. Yay, Kirby, I love the Kirby games. And this one's one of the best. Super Mario All-Stars, another nostalgic favorite. Miss Pac-Man, why not? There is a Super Game Genie, I like these. I mean, come on, Donkey Kong Country 3. Here's D-Force, uh, I had some fun with this game when it first came out, it was an early release. I like that sticker on there. Why'd they put the sticker right on the spot that holds the game in place, that's weird. Yeah, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Secret of Mana, great game here. The opening soundtrack two, but the first area where you're actually attacking, you know, using your sword for the first time, the music that plays during that, it brings back my mullet, it brings back my acne, it brings back my braces. I mean, it really takes me back to high school. Yeah, Mickey Mania, love the animation on this game. In my opinion, one of the most underrated games on the Super Nintendo of all time. This game is just fantastically fabulous. I mean, it ain't Final Fantasy IV, but I'll take it. Actually, a lot of people consider this game as the best Final Fantasy game. Hard to argue that, but... I still like the previous one, just a little bit better. Probably for nostalgia reasons. And again, he was the one that shot me an offer. He knew what he had, and he said, ah, for those, you know what, I'll do this much. I'm not gonna tell you how much I paid, but I will say it was in the extremely low three digits. I mean extremely low 
three digits for this stack of gold. I mean, there's not, well, I don't know about Miss Pac-Man, but for the most part, I mean, they're all killer, I think. A huge shout out to Ryan and Joe, as well as all of the staff and all of the volunteers from Long Island Retro Gaming Expo. I had a blast seeing friends I haven't seen in a while, you know, buddies that are, you know, I love running into at conventions and everything. I always have more conventions coming up. Make sure you keep it locked on my socials to find out where I'm going to be next. As of filming this, I'm going to be at the Utah Retro Game Swap on September 9th. So maybe I'll see you there. I hope so.